Hey guys, it's Nick from BonBonsai.com and today I'm going to talk about critical bonsai care tips. Now before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt a bonsai, then go to the link above at BonBonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now in to the main topic of today, which is critical bonsai care tips. Well, you have got the watering and the feeding of the bonsai down. Think you're home free? Not a chance. There's still things you need to do successfully to realize the full beauty of these little Japanese wonders. Since the care of the root system is essential to the survival of the trees, you need to know how and when to repot your bonsai. This is one of the many steps to proper bonsai care. The young bonsai grow quickly and need to be repotted about once a year. The older trees, not so often, and eventually get to a point where repotting every five years is sufficient. Repotting should be done in the late winter or early spring. This is when be uh, buds begin to swell. First, you should prune your bonsai. Take away any unwanted or long branches. If your bonsai is kept outside, it should be placed under cover for a few weeks before repotting. This will help to, to dry the soil out. You need to carefully remove the tree from its original pot. Check the roots carefully. If they are bound, then it is definitely time to transfer it to another pot. If the roots still have some space to grow, a few inches is sufficient, then it does not need to be repotted. Remember, repotting at the, ter at the correct time is essential for bonsai care. Place it back into its original pot. Now, the fun starts. You don't simply stick the tree straight into a larger pot. Your tree has to be almost groomed before it moves into its new home. First, the original surface soil must be removed from the roots of the tree. This can be done by using your hand or a nylon scrubbing brush. Be careful not to damage the root system while doing this. This is a surefire way to kill your tree and make all your previous efforts worthless. Once you have completed this task, you need to use a small paintbrush to remove any dirt that is stuck in the roots. Soil tends to collect around the roots and using a paintbrush will help ensure that you do not do any root damage. This process helps the tree look and feel healthier. The next steps require a bonsai comb. The roots need to be combed out and uh, you know combed out due to the delicate nature of the trees. It is difficult that the use of a human comb uh, really it's just difficult to use a human comb. So make sure you use a bonsai comb. You need a comb from the underneath and use scissors to prune away up to a third of the roots. Once you've done this, you need to cut small wedges out around the base of the roots. Sounds radical, but this allows for the fresh soil to collect and this will keep your tree healthy. Well, if you haven't run away by now, you probably won't. So it's time for the last bit of bonsai care. Now that your tree is happily groomed, it's time to prepare the pot. You should put a layer of grit on the bottom of the pot and then whatever compost you've chosen. Now that, it, now that uh, the pot has been prepared, the little friend needs to be positioned. Once you have sorted them out, begin putting in the soil. You have most likely figured out this by now, but place the soil in gently. Why? Well, you guessed it, to avoid root damage. Hopefully the information that you've learned here hasn't sent you running in your bonsai tree uh, to the compost heap. There's a lot to learn and a lot to do correctly to ensure your tree makes it to adulthood. It may be easier just to have kids. Bonsai care is an art, and it has to be said that the care and maintenance of these trees is an art form in and of itself. However, the wards can be magnificent. The trees are beautiful when cultivated properly, and you will have the satisfaction of knowing that you've mastered the art of bonsai. That's all for today, and if you're interested in more information about bonsai, how to care for bonsai, stuff like that, make sure you subscribe because I have dozens of more videos to come out. Also, check the link above if you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, or sculpt your bonsai. Uh, so, that's going to be it for this video. See you in the next one.